Hey guys, it's Buff Q. Here's a review for you on a really beautiful little knife from Case. This is the Mini Copperhead. This is a two blade knife. Worn cliff on one side and pen blade on the other. This model comes with the stag grips. Nice high polished bolsters on either end. Really nice little offering from Case. Give you kind of a close up shot there. Comes in about 1.3 ounces. This is their True Sharp stainless steel blade material. Does it hold the greatest edge? No, it doesn't. Is it easy to sharpen? Yeah, it is. That's part of why I like Case. Personally, I don't need a blade steel that um, will hold up for an extremely long period of time. I'm more interested in something that I can sharpen easily, and this steel sharpens quite easily. Of course, it's got that high mirror polished, like so many of the blades from Case. Closed length, about 3.13 um, inches. Obviously, it's USA made. Just a nice little traditional option. I really like that forward swedge on that Warncliffe blade. That was one of the things I liked most when I saw this model. I just thought that was a, a really unique look. Just a great little option, something nice to have in your pocket if you're going somewhere where you don't need um, something that's larger or has, has the option of a fast deployment. If you just need something small and simple for basic cutting tasks, this obviously is not going to scare off anyone. These have been around for many, many years. The history of the case company is a very interesting one. Um, and I've got to say, the, 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 the three knife manufacturers that I'm, I'm really um, most intrigued in nowadays, of course, Spyderco is always going to be home, but... Um, Case and Victorinox are probably my other two that I'm just really into nowadays. You can probably tell that by uh, the videos on the channel. Um, they're just, they're interesting. They're all different. They're all handcrafted. Just a nice option from Case. Anyway, hope you guys found it interesting. See you next time.